we love the work that you did for Pelli Chu Plume. Thank you. And uh, what what is your feeling? What are you feeling? It's right uh, definitely amazing. Uh, <clears throat> if, uh, and then the music chase na puri we all enjoyed it a lot. So I think that's what I you know took from this project. So are you nervous about the film? Uh, no, I'm not nervous. It's uh, you know we've done it, so the main job is done. So okay. after this, it's not in our control. So how were your initial days, Vivek, for of composing, uh, and did you have to struggle a lot to make a mark? Uh, I think everything involves struggle. Like this, you know, there's no other way about about it for anything. Uh, but it was, it's not like a struggle. I don't know. It was initially maybe it was mentally, you know, because I think uh, you take the pressure of being, you know, becoming something. Mm. But once you give up on becoming something, you know, you just you just start doing what you want to do. So I think that when I realized that it was, you know, it was I was just doing it. So film this just happened like that. Right. You know, it was not something that uh, it's not like I want to be a music director. I want to you know do ten films per per right. year or anything like that. The idea was to do music. Right. And if films are happening, films will happen. If you know something else is happening, it'll happen. Right. So how did you develop the interest in music? Uh, as a kid, I started singing when I was you know I don't know four or just I just used to sing like my mother sings. Right. So maybe I got it through her or something. Uh, so that intuition was there, uh, like you know, when I was a kid. And after that, it was uh, it was just a process. You know, I was listening to music, and you know, I was uh, feeling more and more of it. And uh, uh, and I I didn't be, like it was not I didn't it was not like a conscious decision. Like one day I thought you know I'm going to be a musician. It was I think it was just like that in my conscious subconscious or something. So then, uh, yeah, after my engineering, it was I just you know I picked up the guitar and you know I started composing or whatever, like just trying out things. So you you did engineering. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and which stream? Uh, electronics and communications. Yeah. And and then you got into music. You never wanted like, to get into the corporate no, 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 world. No, no, no. I had no idea. Like even in my fourth year, I remember my friends were uh, talking about writing GRE and doing something, but I had no idea. You know, I was not doing anything. I was just kind of stuck with music. And so, I, so it, were, it continued like that. You were playing for a lot of bands. Alter Ego was one of them. Yeah, Alter Ego was one of them. But uh, uh, before that, we were uh, we had this band called Stiffneck Syndrome, where you know we played a lot of shows here in Hyderabad and <coughs> other cities. Right. Uh, then there's another band that happened called Catharsis, which is still we're still part of it, uh, right. uh, which is like a jazz Carnatic fusion band kind of thing. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So we. And you played the <coughs> guitar. I played. Yeah, I played the guitar. I used to play the bass also for the band. Okay. Like we all uh, take up different jobs depending on uh, you know okay. the kind of work we are doing. Yeah. So with Kadas it's like that. Uh, then otherwise individually I've been composing and producing music with my friend called Sanjay who who's, who's like the mixer and the drummer for the band. Okay. So when when did you start off Tape Loop? Tape Loop I think uh, 2000 around 2008 or 9. You know, it was it, 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 it it's not like a company or something. It was not it was just a uh, name that we. Uh, you know, used for our studio, right. like just a place the way we all work. Right. So that place is there, uh, been there with us since 2004 or five now. Like it's oh, been 10 or 12 years now. Yeah. So initially it was a band, which yeah. bands and they put a start out there. Then there's always something right. happens. And so but with Kadas, luckily we've been together. So yeah. you and your partners, when did you decide that you wanted to compose <coughs> music for films? So was it because? Tarun approach to No, 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 it was, uh, I think composing music happened long back, like band lo unnapur yeah. obviously band lo you start off covering music, yeah. you know, you are influenced by so many bands yeah. and you want to be like them or whatever. Dantar, there is always this stage, uh, I don't know, for a musician where uh, you start, asal, what is your, you know, what what is, what do you really want to play, you know, right. like yes, rock is there, it's influence, right. but what is uh, within you, you know, what the, what is, that is important. So, uh, once that question, you know, starts arising, you start composing. So, around 2000, I don't know, I, since name guitar Panchi for me it was not about, you know, learning, I, as in uh, learning was there, but it was about, uh, I don't know, I always used to get new tunes, I wanted to write my own music. That was the intuition I always had. So, it was always happening. In my mind, I always, you know, I'm humming some tune or groove or, you know. So, Atla, it, it just became a part of me. It was not like I'm a composer, you know, I'm going to compose right. an Atla, yeah. How has the association been with Tarun? Since you've already worked earlier, uh, was it easier for you while composing for Very Pelli Very easy. Yeah. Ande, ande, you know, how you know, you know, you know, you project to know, unless it's a corporate film or a, you know something else. Uh, for a good 
పీస్ టు కమ్ అవుట్ ఆర్ అ గుడ్ సాంగ్ టు కమ్ అవుట్ ఫోర్స్ ఉండదు అనిపిస్తుంది అంటే ఇప్పుడు తరుణ్ ఇప్పుడు చెప్పాను నాకు పాట కావాలంటే ఒక లవ్ సాంగ్ కావాలని వదిలేస్తే ఐ కాంట్